I trust Sanzu is safe. I know she's desperate for companionship. But even so, there are reasons why we don't let outsiders in. It is my sworn duty to honor the teachings of our founder, Zulia Aransu, to safeguard her sword and her secrets, and to maintain the delicate balance between dark and light that keeps this clan safe. That balance was threatened today when this Jinsuyan arrived. She carries something dark within her. I need you to keep an eye on her. It shouldn't be too hard given how attached my daughter is to her. But if she threatens Sanzu, don't hesitate to kill her. No. That thing? It's out for cleaning. You have to keep those things clean and sharp. Everyone knows that. Yeah, except right now. They clean it every year. In fact, my papa ordered it. It's for a ceremony. I wouldn't expect you to understand. No! No, you, you don't need to do that. Because, um, he... We were just borrowing it. Jin Soyeon trained with Jiwon herself. And you know she's good with swords, and she just wanted to show me something. You don't understand! Someone tried to kill Jin Soyeon before this. That's how she ended up here. How is she supposed to defend herself if they come back? Please, don't tell Papa. He This is we leave this to you, Master Quan. You! Why are you here? You should be watching Sanzu and Jin Soyin. Really? And why would my daughter do such a thing? Does she want to use it for sparring lessons? Why the sudden interest in the blade that she once described as that old, ugly, stupid sword? Let me guess. She gave it to Jin Soyin. Don't be a fool! Jin Soyeon stole the sword for herself. Either that or she convinced my daughter to do it for her. She's using Sanzu's naive trust to cover her tracks. No, you don't think, nor do you know what I know. Allow me to enlighten you. Jin Soyeon is a murderer. Yes, the messenger from Silverfrost told me everything. Master Jiwon took Jin Soyeon into her care only to have Jin Soyeon steal the Twilight's Edge and use it against her. Now, Master Jiwon is dead. Do you understand? First the Twilight's Edge, and now the Aransu Sword. Don't let her mock innocence deceive you. She must be stopped. I'll gather a few of our sentries. Go to Jin Soyeon and send her here, and make sure Sanzu doesn't follow her. This sword, it's not even close, but it'll have to do. Oh, sorry, I was distracted. You, you know that Sanzu gave me this sword, right? I didn't take it. To be honest, I felt so helpless here. I thought that if I had a sword, it might make me feel a little better, but it feels so much worse. When I hold it, I remember... I remember... I, I, yes, I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. For now, I think I should return this sword. I don't think it's going to do me any good. The thralls are attacking! We need your help! The thralls A group of thralls is attacking the school! Master Quan is fighting them in the courtyard. He asked me to find you. Something must have corrupted them. If the corruption isn't contained, it could wake the great thrall and infect it as well. Please, help. I'll take Miss Sanzu and her guests to the sanctuary. They'll be safer there. Wait, what? 
Did he just say that the Great Thrall has come to life? That's good, right? It'll protect us from the monsters. If you're trying to say that this is because I moved the sword, it's not. Don't be dumb. Only Zulia could control the Great Thrall. I didn't do it. It's not my fault. Fine. But you better be careful. Don't do anything stupid. Come with me, please, Miss Sanzu. The warrior needs to help your father. Come with us. What's happening? your help. If the Great Thrall isn't sealed away, it too could come under the influence of this corruption. She's in the Sanctuary. The sentries will protect her from Jinsuyin. If we waste any more time, none of us will be safe. I can't seal the Great Thrall on my own. Hurry, and heal the others. There's no time to waste! The Great Thrall has been kept away from the corruption, but we need your chi to complete the ritual. I had to absorb some of the dark chi in order to keep it away from the Great Thrall. Your chi is still pure. Use it to place these charms on the statue and keep our guardian pure. I'll return to the sanctuary to check on Sanzu. Meet me there when you're finished. Don't leave! I swear! I didn't do it. It's not my fault. Sanzu, get behind me! How? You, you killed them! Stay back! I'm warning you.
I'll be waiting for that. <laughs> I tried to save my daughter that day, but I lost her just the same. That day was the beginning of Sansu's downfall. She used her anger to focus her energy, devoting herself to rigorous training and the ancient teachings. Yes, that's why she joined the Eight Masters and why she has been so desperate for power which made her vulnerable to the same dark influence that used Jin Suyin to kill me. Zulia Aronsu was the founder of our clan. She was the first, and possibly the greatest warlock to ever walk the Earthen Realm. Sanzu loved to hear stories about her. She used the name Zulia like a child pretending to be someone else. Perhaps, in her mind, it was easier to be Zulia than to be Sanzu. Sanzu watched her parents die, devoted her life to vengeance, and failed. That's a hard reality to accept, which is why she chose to live a lie and willfully pretend that Zulia was her true identity. And now that lie is becoming truth. This ancient evil is transforming Sanzu into a demonic incarnation of Zulia. The Ebon Drake feed off her power, just as they feed off the power of your friend's father. Our goals are one and the same. This ancient evil must be stopped. My Sanzu can still be saved. Please, Gionse, help me save my daughter. Incredible. What did we just witness? Zulia will turn into a demon just like my father. The Ebendrake cult is evil. Pure evil. My mission hasn't changed. I have to find my father. And since this entrance seems sealed, I need to stage a frontal assault. It's the only way. This spirit has shown us things and asked you a favor. I cannot ask you to go with me. My path is chosen, and my father and I are linked, but your path is your own. You don't owe me anything, and you've already gotten me this far. You have to do what you think is right. If you think Zulia can be saved, so be it. If you decide to help me at the Ebon Drake Lair, I hope we both survive to see each other there. At whatever hour you arrive, it could prove to be the difference. I'm heading there now. Good luck, Jianse. Consider this before you leave. I realize I'm asking a lot of you. Your friend needs your help, and now it appears I do as well. I sense Sanzu did something to hurt you. Yes, I see it now. Your disciple is Jin Soyin. Zulia took her away from you. I can see why you might have some misgivings when it comes to helping my daughter. I was in much the same position when I first met Jin Soyin. She represented a threat to my clan and to my daughter. If I treated Jin Soyin unfairly, it was only because I was trying to protect those around me. Part of what pains me now is knowing that Jin Soyin was innocent, and I was... wrong. I treated Jin Soyin like a criminal, when in fact she was simply lost, hurt, and in need of guidance. She may have carried something evil within her, but I was the one who pushed her over the edge. I hope you won't make the same kind of mistake I did. Jin Suyin wasn't beyond saving, and neither is my Sanzu. But she's so shrouded in darkness that she can't even see me anymore. Which is why I need you to help her. Forgive me for burdening you with the regrets of a failed father. I trust that you will do what is right. Sanzu has sought refuge in the Temple of Alluvium. Spirits from our clan still linger there, trapped by their own bitterness. I fear the hideous strength that lives in that place will be more than she can bear. The temple will only feed the demonic power within her. If it's not stopped, it will completely consume what's left of my daughter. It seems nearly impossible. The only way to reach Sanzu is to fight through Zulia and force her to submit. Perhaps then, the strength of your chi will be enough to save her. You are my last hope, Jianse. Please, save Sanzu before she's lost forever.